Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. <clears throat> I came back in the shop today for a little while. I can't do any heavy lifting or anything for a while, but uh, I had my second uh, cataract surgery done now, so I've just got another three weeks of putting drops in and behaving myself, and then I should be able to get back to normal. Uh, I've done some in between trying to uh, get things completed. I have all this done. I have this I've been working on. Uh, as you'll see later on in the video, I ran this and it, it runs pretty smooth. It uh, doesn't go too fast. Um, I do need to do some more work on this as far as I think I want to take it apart and make new rotors and rings to make it a shorter stroke. The way it is now, it uses way too much air. And I think I'm going to just set it aside for now and bring back my six cylinder, the one that I am going to put in the Volkswagen. and work with this and the six cylinder engine to try to get the flow to go better. Right now it, it works well, it does what it needs to do, but I think I can increase the volume to increase the speed on the six cylinder. So today I'm going to just look at things and try to figure out how I want to do the next little bit. I've got to get my six cylinder engine up here on the stand, which I can't do today. So maybe I'll just go ahead and finish this video off. So once again, thanks for checking in and any new viewers, if you'd like to subscribe and watch what I'm doing, there's going to be some exciting things happening this summer in say another month or so. I'm going to actually be putting the six cylinder engine back in my Volkswagen to see how it responds and what if anything needs to be changed. So for now, I'll just say thank you for checking in. Be sure to check the little notification bell if you're going to subscribe. One thing is I cannot tell when it's leaking because there's always one, well, they're all three exhausting all the time. When they're pushing down, they're exhausting from the bottom. And then when it switches to go to pull up, then it starts exhausting from the the top. So I'm always hearing exhaust from all three of them. It's, so the only way I could tell if they're leaking is I just have to get my little bottle with my soap water and just go and, and test each one of the things. It doesn't seem like the valves are leaking, but I had, you know, gone through and tested those before I put them on. So I don't think that is a problem.
Can't go any higher than that, can I? Alright, I got it set. This sets to 145. That should put it right up around 390, 395. Okay, now this is about 350, and that's 395 or so. This must be leaking around in here somewhere too. But A little over 100. 
Oh, no, I set it for 110, and it should be up around 325. And then I should be able to run this again. And But it's got to have resistance. For some reason that has got too much too much volume for the amount of maybe under a load that would run different. But I can't mess with it now, so I'll uh, just let it go for now. <laughs> 